The affection of the disturbance of the hydrodynamics of blood in case of stress on pathological increase of level of low-density lipoproteins in blood, the formation of cylindrical plaques, and their participation in the development of acute ischemic disorders of heart and brain. S. Rusinov, Private Practice, Alternative Medicine Doctor, Dear Colleagues, I am pleased to present to you a hypothesis which was elaborated by me, that can answer the questions, why the level of LDL increases in the blood, and why the stress leads to the formation of cylindrical plaques, which are different from the classical atherosclerotic plaque. The increase of atheromatous plaque begins from proliferation of lipids in the places of vessels ramification, which are exposed to the shear stress. Accretions are formed in the form of plaques under intima. Classic atherosclerosis plaque cap matures for a long time and subsequently is germinated by vessels. Cap subsequently increases and overlaps the lumen. One-sided arrangement of plaque in relation to the vessel is distinctive. Increased content of the cholesterol in the blood was considered for many years as the primary risk factor of the atherosclerosis, cardiac infarction, cerebral stroke. Investigations refute the given hypothesis. In the 90s has been described the case with a man who ate 25 eggs a day and, at the same time, didn't have any pathological changes of the level of cholesterol in the blood. According to the accepted hypothesis, it couldn't exist, so he was searched on different mechanisms of adaptation. The investigations, which has been held in 2015, has shown, that saturated fats are not connected with the total mortality, vessels diseases, chronic heart disease, ischemic stroke and pancreatic diabetes of the second type. There are cases of cardiac infarction without determining of the arterial sclerotic disease of the coronary arteries. You can observe a cardiac infarction with normal coronary vessels, it totals 5 to 25 percent of all cases of acute myocardial infarction. There weren't found the investigations where we could observe the connection of hyperlipidemia among people with a hypotension and among people with normal numbers of arterial pressure. Healthy people ate lot of eggs per day, consumed large amount of tallow oil and fatty meat, and thus, had no problems with blood vessels, heart and brain. In contrast, in the case of occurrence of problems in the family, work, etc., as a patient in the coming days and weeks turned out to be in the hospital with problems of heart and brain. One of the reasons of cardiac infarction is considered to be stress. Acute coronary syndromes depend from emotional triggers, which represent the events of national importance, such as earthquakes, terroristic attacks, financial crisis and also individual experience of acute anger, stress and depression. During the 60-day period after the 11th of September 2001, was detected statistically significant increase in the number of patients with acute cardiac infarction, Dr. Jiang Wei, Wei Jiang, and colleagues in 2013 note that ischemia in the consequence of the mental stress is more common phenomenon than it was previously presumed. I offer to consider the special type of plaque more attentively, which is considered as rarer variety, soft plaques. L. O. Holeran and others suppose that soft or heterogeneous plaques to the fullest extent support the development of ischemic stroke. In the process of attentive videos review, which was filmed during the performance of carotid endarterectomy, we can see the cylindrical plaque. On the giving video we can see cholesterol plaque of yellow color, which is elastic, has cylindrical form, which follows the contour of vessel, has approximately the same thickness all around and has the hole in the middle and blood passes through it. I offer to call them cylindrical plaques. Easy exfoliation from the wall emphasizes that given cylindrical plaque is located not under vessel's intima, but from above it. These plaques are not alike. The blood flows within the cylindrical plaque, 
we observed great number of such cylindrical yellow plaques, which easily could be separated from the vessel's wall and were situated in the different places of arteries. Some important features should be distinguished. The increase of pressure and increase of the level of LDL in the blood are closely connected. The stress and diseases of cardiovascular system are closely connected. The short time interval between the beginning of stress and the appearance of clinical symptoms. The formation of cylindrical plaque in one and the same place as among different patients. Dot. The cylindrical shape of plaques in the case of acute processes in the myocardium and brain. Different degree of addition, invasion and damage of the plaque. Different length of cylindrical plaque. The blood flows within the cylindrical plaque along its entire length. The involvement of heart and brain occurs in one and the same time. The change of clinical implications, depending on the duration and the intensity of the stress factor. The nerves, which innervate the vessels, have the certain entry points into the vessel wall. Dot. The stress causes the overexcitation of cells of central nervous system. The arrival of pathological electrical pulse on the vasomotor center leads to the vasospasm in the areas of perivascular plexuses and to the increase of pressure. In the case of decrease of the stress factor the vasomotor center decreases impact on the vessels, and the pressure decreases. In these places begins the cylindrical plaque. In the case of pressure within the limits of physiological standard, the diameter of the vessel is slightly reduced. If the pressure increases above the physiological standard, appears an obstacle to the blood flow, which is described in hydraulics as sudden contraction. The liquid from the wall layers tends to penetrate into a narrow hole and occurs so-called separation of transit flow from the vascular wall with formation of zones with fluid whirls. In these areas, exists the possibility for the accumulation of substances with certain chemical and physical properties. LDL, apparently, have such properties. The obtained ring from LDL, in turn, creates new whirl zones. The length of plaque gradually increases. Blood flows inside of formed aggregation of LDL. These plaques are the reason of the acute ischemic attacks of heart, brain, vessels in terms of the acute, severe stress. Classification I offer to fix such stages of development of cylindrical plaque, friable cylindrical plaque, FCP, yielding cylindrical plaque, YCP. Dense cylindrical plaque DCP, old cylindrical plaque OCP. Friable cylindrical plaque lead to the increase of level of LDL in the blood. In the case of sharp and strong compression of the vessel, the LDL are accumulating in the front of obstacle, are holding on each other at the expense of their structure. LDL in the given plaque are in the state of weak stable balance. They can't move to the bloodstream because of obstacle and they haven't agglutinated between themselves. So, there are a lot of places where vessels clamp abruptly, at the same time a big quantity of friable cylindrical plaques. After the vasospasm occurs the vasorelaxation. The vascular geometry restores. After the aneurysm the border of plaque moves to the whirl zone and friable cylindrical plaque crumbles. Now it is necessary to consider the mechanism of changing of the level of LDL in the blood. After the forming of few friable cylindrical plaques the quantity of LDL in blood decreases abruptly. In response, the hepatic cells synthesize LDL with the purpose of increase of level of LDL in blood to the physiological standard. In the case of abrupt vasodilation LDL begins separating from FCP and they return into the bloodstream. In the case of stable pressure over a long period of time, the level of LDL in the blood is stabilized independently. In order to increase the level of LDL in the blood, must be one very important condition. The vasospasm must stop until when the connection between LDL forms, and which is able to keep LDL together. 
Among patients with long duration of stress, the duration of vasospasm increases. LDL, without having a possibility to crumble, begin to stick together and form a yielding cylindrical plaque, YCP. The given plaque contains a big amount of lipids and has thin connective woven capsule, which is not yet fused with the wall, and can be separated completely from the epithelium, without damage of the vessel's wall. Yielding cylindrical plaque may have, in the future, two principal ways, or to continue their own development, or gradually dissolve. During the fastening with intima of vessel and in the process of crystallization, the plaque becomes denser. The formation of dense cylindrical plaque DCP takes place. It is characterized by the fact that the removal requires a strong mechanical impact and splitting of the vessel wall. During the invasion of such plaque with help of vessels, and in the process of further crystallization, old cylindrical plaque OCP forms. It is characterized by the fact that in its wall occur non-reversible changes, the thickness of plaque changes, burstings appear, and places of necrosis and ulceration. One of the places where the cylindrical plaque can be damaged most often is the place of cross-clamping. At this place, the CP may have a sharp edge, which can be explained by difference in the geometry of the quiet and compressed vessel. If in the given place we change the geometry of vessel, the decrease of diameter, we can see that the form of plaque coincides with the deflection of the vessel, and an inner diameter corresponds to the diameter of lumen of plaque. In the case of frequent and strong compression of vessel may appear damaged areas of mucculant vascular wall with appearance of areas of inflammation. In these places, in the future, the classical atherosclerotic plaques can be formed. According to this hypothesis the doctor can control the correctness of the prescription of drugs from pressure and monitor the correctness of drugs taken by the patient. Can diagnose the diseases in a timely manner, which are connected with a short-term increase and decrease of pressure, even in the case of absence of another symptoms. The hypothesis allows to submit the complete information for patients about the risk for feeding of heart and brain, which is connected with the acute stress with the purpose of the application of measures in order to reduce the stress. Journal Medical Hypotheses, No. 106, 2017, page 61-70. Thank you.